premium snail eye cream. Yeah. This is actually made of snails. Maybe. Everything in it is on, in Korean. folks and welcome to today's vlog and today's vlog is going to start with much excitement I was actually outside working and Anna has dragged me back into the house with the words she just texted one word to me unboxing I got very excited thinking yes we get to unbox something um it's a Korean Beautiful. beauty box this oh, is dress a, is on there. The, yeah on the other side uh. It's a Korean beauty box. Um, it's it's the one that you got from no, or isn't. ordered from Comic Con, isn't it? No, it's not. This no? is a different one. That was fine, but it it they it was just the same box for months. Who needs two different Korean beauty boxes? Well, I wanted to try something different, so I've got this one. Don't show me. <laughs> I want to say. So Jaha. how much does a Joa box cost? Thirty dollars, so twenty six pounds. You could get a loot crate for that. Yeah, but I don't have cool stuff crate. in. This has got cool stuff in. So we've got one M. Here we have the menu. For those of you who just want a quick look at what she's got. Premium snail eye cream. <laughs> I want a Korean beauty box. Show me what you've got in here. So I've got some snail cream. Don't open it and mess about. Which is $16, apparently. Premium snail eye cream. Yep. This is actually made of snails. Maybe. Everything in it is on, in Korean. Um, let's have a look. Ingredients. I guess so. I need to know if this is made of snail. I should think so. It's a thing. S making stuff out of snails is a thing. You eat them. <laughs> so you're literally going to rub a snail on your eyes. Yeah. Been $16. Then we've got some one kill eyeliner. It's a brush. So, what's how much would the eyeliner be, Kevin? $12.90. So, for some eyeliner, that would be very good. And then we've got some Eco Beyond hand cream. How much is hand cream? The hand cream is $5. Upside down, Kevin. No, it's not. It's it? the, no, it's, it's not. not. Oh, okay. See, she thinks she knows. I know about hand cream, not her. Do you want some hand cream? No, I want some snail cream. One shot eye palette. This is... This is... $25 for this thing. For a couple <laughs> of face paints, $25. I don't and understand. Then... A deep and quick mask for when you're fighting crime. Yeah. That would be $3.50. And, and then some of this. What paper? Ripped yeah, up paper. I love ripped up paper. Can we have a look at the snail cream? I need to see what it is. Can we oh, get, it we out get the box? special cards. There you go, November box. <laughs> I need to see the snail cream. I need to know more about snail cream. <laughs> I want to. I want to see if it's like a snail. So this is all Korean beauty. I stuff. don't care about any of that. I only I care do. about the snail cream. Can I have a dab? You may. Looks like toothpaste. Does it smell of snails? Okay. I want it to be disgusting. Give me mm. a little dab. I put this in my eye. Uh, underneath it, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Dab. Dab, dab, dab. No, no. Oh. That's it. Dab in your eye, Kevin. Is that right? <laughs> so I've basically got the vision power of snails now. <laughs> Is that what this is giving me? Is this how I get my superpower? Amazing. Spider Man was bitten by a radioactive spider. Snail Man has got snails <laughs> in his eyes. Is it go. Do I look younger? <laughs> I'm halfway through recording a football manager video. People are going to think halfway through. It's me. He's what, what happened there? Did he suddenly start looking much younger and a little snail like? 
Oh that was a Korean beauty box, everybody. Oh yeah. Apologies for the poor lighting conditions. As you can see, Anna is over there working away on her uni stuff. Wave to the camera, Anna. Hello, hello. Hello, Andy, as well. <laughs> which means I can't stick the ring light just there where I normally put it when I talk it's to you. In the way. Yeah, I'm not allowed it in here while Anna's working. So, poor lighting just for this segment. We'll have proper lighting back again soon. But as you can see, Andy is home from school. He's changed into his pajamas. He's munching away on some crisps. Clean pajamas. Let's put clean ones on. Well, they're the same ones as yesterday, I think. No, they're not. Aren't they? Is not. And then trousers. How many pairs of Minecraft pajamas has he got? <laughs> That's why I, I had it in my head. I, I had this conversation with Anna. Just from editing the vlogs, I don't pay attention to him when I'm not editing the vlog, but on the vlogs, all he ever wears is Minecraft pajamas. So I said, does he, does he just been wearing the same pajamas for weeks? No. Apparently that's not the case. So, Andy is home. We have just continuing on from yesterday's theme of homeschool communication. We have had some further communication from school today. Um, he needs breakaways. He's been asking for them, but in the school way that, that he's been asking, but they haven't got any, and they've been asking him for a few days now. And I just keep forgetting. It's just yeah. So nice we're gonna get. I'm gonna go and get some breakaways in a minute for him to take in tomorrow. So at least he's asking for them at school. But again, it was literally just a shopping list. That's all our homeschool communication is these days. It's just a shopping list. So tell us what food to get when we send him the food. Don't know what he did at school today. Perhaps all he did was ask for breakaways for seven hours and that's why that's what they've written down. I suspect that's probably not the case though. But he seems happy enough. I'm not particularly happy that it's just gone four o'clock and it's already dark outside to the point where I'm missing the ring light. I was saying the same thing at work. I was like, what, yeah, it's <laughs> it's there. freezing out in the garage as well. It's like three degrees today. I've been out in the garage all do you know, day. Do you know Kent and places have had snow today last night. I like snow. Hopefully we'll get some snow. But <laughs> my plan now is to leave her alone, go cook dinner, and hopefully when I come back in, I'll be allowed my ring light. Hopefully after after, after dinner, I'll get my fi finally get an hour on four hour after the. That's how I said. So last night I turned it on eight hours, and I turned it on again to have an hour before dinner. These are updates, dinner. aren't they? Huh? Updates. Yeah, and there was another four, a thirty night. There was two updates. I was just like. So you're not going to play it for two no, days? Three days. Well, you're getting some work then. There you go. So Little look at Anna's work. work. <laughs> there he is. Being an absolute menace as ever. Um. They've gone to bed. Well, they've not gone to bed. Hannah's upstairs putting Andy in the bath, getting him ready for bed. And I've just recorded or finished putting together the recording of a 90 minute football manager video. I've never done a 90 minute football manager video before. That's a bit mad. But I'm doing some mad stuff at the moment. We're, I'm this close to a million views on the Football Manager channel this month. I've never got anywhere near that before. To the best of my knowledge, and I do track these numbers, I take take the business side of that channel very seriously because I'm a nerd. I don't think anyone's ever done a million views on a Football Manager channel before. Not just me, I don't think anyone has. And I'm this close. I don't think I'm gonna do it, but goodness me. Has it been a, has it been a good couple of weeks over there? Very much enjoying myself, getting my get my new series up and running or getting it ready to be up and running anyway which starts in less than two weeks for you when you're watching this I've got my new shirts coming oh it's some very exciting stuff going on and uh, yeah I'm having a very good time getting all that sorted it does mean I'm not really leaving the house or doing anything and um, with the combination of the nights drawing in so we can't really go out in the evening and me working more than I've ever worked before on the football manager stuff and Anna at crunch time at uni I think the vlogs are just going to be a little bit short for a little while rather than rather than doing what I can to make it a proper vlog length I think I'll just show you the good stuff like we I mean it's it's what we've always done on the vlog looking back this time last year there were some vlogs that were five six minutes long and I've kind of got into the habit as the vlog channel became more of a focus over the last nine months or so of feeling like I had to do a 10, 15 minute video that was about something every day. And as much as those videos are cool, and they're obviously the ones that get the most views, they're the ones that get shared around, I think I've got to get into my head that there's a significant chunk of you who just like to see what we're up to. And if we're not doing anything, anything particularly interesting, you're quite happy for it to be a four or five minute update of us saying, well, this is what we're doing, and that's about it. And I hope that's okay, but I think there's gonna be a few of them for a little while. Um, I'm not saying that's what's going to be every day. I'm trying not to neglect this channel, but as you can probably imagine, it's pretty much impossible to give all your efforts to two channels at the same time. And 
this is the three months of the year where I absolutely have to go full steam ahead on the football manager stuff because I mean it's no exaggeration to say I probably earn about half of my annual income in these three months from the football manager stuff and then have to spread that out and share it out over the rest of the year so it's kind of a big deal we'll still be keeping you updated the vlog's still going to be daily obviously we'll still be here when you get back and big 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 thank you to all the i think it's like 25 people who've jumped on the patreon since i did my patreon video the other day stuff like that that's how i am i'm allowed to split my focus a little bit more because as i've said before this isn't a patreon begging video um, but obviously the less our income is reliant on what i'm releasing day to day the more i can sort of be creative and produce the videos the best videos i can make across both channels every day but for as long as i still have to chase the views and chase the money a little bit at the moment that's where the views and the money are so like i say please try not to feel neglected and we'll be back very very soon oh we're not going anywhere but you know action-packed i mean vlogmas starts in a week's time we've got comic con we've got all sorts of stuff coming up there's going to be lots to talk about here just don't be alarmed if every now and again there's a day like today where it's quite a short video. I hope it's okay. If you've enjoyed today's vlog, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for us. Subscribe to the channel for more daily vlogs. And thank you very much for watching.